Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Super quick video here, lightning fast. Quickest video I've ever done. I've decided to take apart the engine cooling fan off of my Can-Am. The one that I just replaced on one of my previous videos. I was really curious as to what the failure was and uh, I thought by just taking it apart a couple minutes and take a peek inside and see why it failed. So let's take it apart. going on there just where are the springs i don't know if you noticed or not but i think that this is a very simple manufacturer fix there was obviously some kind of water intrusion into the motor very minimal because everything's in really good condition so let me show you what i found with those springs so you watch me just take it apart everything else is in very good condition the screws came out very nice they cleaned up well the bearings are absolutely perfect condition. Nothing wrong with the bearings at all. The winding is really good quality, nice and heavy, nice magnets, but there is definitely water intrusion. There was water intrusion. And what I did find is the brushes, the, well, the springs for the brushes that is, are, disintegrated so these are what was left inside that look what I can do with metal so the only spring that was in decent condition was this one right here so there was one uh, brush that was still operating and it was just due to this spring right here and these are the other springs right here so I strongly believe that I can put this back together if I can find some springs. The brushes are in good condition. The bearings are in good condition. Just needs a good cleanup, a reseal, and uh, I think I think we'll have a spare motor. 
Yeah, so I think I'm actually going to have a good little motor once I get this back together. Just got to find some springs. Amazon's great for that. Once again, thanks for watching this quick little video, guys. And remember that if I can do this with just these tools, anybody can do it. Talk to you soon.